he gets there. The alternative media, Jerry. That's where you hear the truth. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Hey, you know, uh, this will work out because it's his birthday, which we'll get to towards the end of this episode as we look at this day in history. But, uh, Paul, could I have a little uh, top ten music, please? Top ten reasons this year's Nobel Peace Prize events will feature Henry Kissinger. Every time the Nobel Peace Prize goes to a warmonger, you almost feel the irresistible urge to imagine the Nobel Committee just experienced a momentary fit of insanity. But when they invite notorious warmongers back to speak as peace laureates at the events surrounding the awarding of another such prize, the insanity defense loses plausibility. So we wish it were not true that Henry Kissinger is scheduled to speak in Oslo, but he is. So David Swanson has... Top 10 reasons why. Zbigniew Brzezinski needed someone to balance him from the left. Having failed to predict Donald Trump's presidency, the Nobel Committee, not wanting to wait until next year to recognize him, has come up with the next best thing. Kissinger and Brzezinski chatting about Peace Prize imperialism. Number three, awarding a prize to only one of the two parties to a failed peace agreement always seems to leave a gap in the agenda, but who can notice a gap in anything with good old Henry waddling around proposing to nuke people? Number four on the list of top ten reasons why Henry Kissinger is going to be at this year's Nobel Peace Prize event with... CIA agent Edward Snowden having just passed up a visit to Oslo to pick up the Norwegian's Pins Prize for outstanding achievements as a whistleblower because the Norwegian government would not agree to protect him from U.S. extradition, the government had a change of heart and sought out a way to shelter someone from the long arm of justice. Thus, Kissinger will be guarded and protected from extradition to any nations seeking to prosecute him, like Laos or Cambodia or Chile. Having responded with sanity and wisdom to a mass killing by a homegrown fascist, Norway is eager to demonstrate to the United States that it's happy to give Washington-based fascism a chance. Number six, of the limited roster of experts who were advising both Clinton and Trump, allowing the Nobel Committee to hedge its bets, some of the other ones were truly crazy. Number seven, the Nobel Committee surveyed media executives and found total support for including Kissinger, except from those outlets, like the ones publishing this article, that are secretly and unbeknownst to their owners, engaged in Russian propaganda services. Number eight on the list of top ten reasons why Kissinger is going to be at the Peace Prize conference, because Cheney told him to go fuck themselves. Number nine, they couldn't afford Obama. And number ten, this makes up for never giving Gaddafi a Peace Prize. Now, David Swanson might be wrong, but he implores us to ask press at nobel.no for the real explanation. Now, I noted this morning on the tweets, and again, we're still using Twitter. That's probably our main, fastest way of exactly what's going on and exactly what our thoughts and analysis are. I am your cultural critic of critical culture. In a year that has seen so many beloved artists and musicians and thinkers and feelers all pass away, I would like to propose that maybe Fidel Castro help kick off a new theme of much-hated scumfuck world leaders that are still alive. Kissinger, Soros, Brzezinski, Poppy Bush. You guys can all fucking kick off anytime now. You are not invited to 2017. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.